Hi guys, it's Ast. In this video, we are going to take a look into a lifetime deal which is currently available on the market called Banisher. I'm going to explain you what it is and what it is not. And I'm also giving you a comparison with the current providers in the market so you can get ideas on pricing and what kind of savings you can expect. And also from a beginner point of view, I will let you know how you can get started using the bunny shelf where I will be showing you how you can use digital ocean and WordPress and use bunny shelf to connect everything. Before I go into the video, I just wanted to let you know this is not a full review video because I have been just using the system for last three days and the deal was released like a week ago and before that I had no idea about this platform so it is unethical for me to go out and say I recommend these these things and I'm basically any hosting uh, kind of services and everything we can't guarantee say without using it for at least three months whether we uh, have recommend it or not. So in this review, I will be only sharing you what I have been able to found out up to this point. So it might help you on your decision making. And also a further point, I am still on trial because I have arranged a meeting with the Banishel team because I have some more doubts on the platforms because uh, we in our business digital marketing maximum we use side ground for micro projects and the mini projects which is not totally uh, gaining a lot of traffic and for major sites we use Cloudways for clients and ours. In this case, what we are doing is when we use Cloudways and compare with Bunny Shelf, the saving is a lot because in uh, Bunny Shelf, the 10 stack gives us unlimited size. So I wanted to be totally sure and I wanted to be confident on that it can essentially replace all the features which is done by Cloudways. So I'm just uh, having the discussion to make the, my final uh, deal. Uh, if I decided to make that purchase, then you can expect me to make the full review in like one and a half weeks or two weeks so I can showcase you uh, all these things and I can will do a comparison once I started using the system in like two to three months that will be the how my process works in this video I'm just going to introduce you and I'm going to share what I have found so far so it will be able to uh, you will be able to make a decision and also there is an affiliate link if you decided to purchase it I would appreciate if you use it will give me a small commission but does not affect your purchase price but if you do not wish to support me you, there is a normal link also in the video description you can check that out okay now we'll go into the video first what is bunny shell this is the important uh, point you need to understand bunny shell is not a hosting service that is an important thing you need to understand what bunny shell does is it is like a middleware where the server is provided by various best companies who provide servers like digital ocean aws all these things they are very good at providing service but it's on technical level bunny shell and other managed hosting services which offer these kind of service what it does is it works as a middleware where it allows us easy control over this service and the application which runs on it and it gives us much more control and usability when we managing this service. So Banisher is not a hosting services rather it's a control panel or a software which allows us to use this services. So the current lifetime deal is not for the server it's only for the uh, use of Bunny server uh, software to control this server. So that is the you need to understand. So let's say for example, you are picking up $79.05 servers. What that means is you are not getting servers also within that uh, $79. You are only getting the access and the ability to control five servers through that thing. So you when you on this you need to purchase the lifetime deal as well as you need to incur the what of the server cost associated with your requirement and everything that is the important point i wanted to discuss first i'm going to show you some basic pricing differences so you can understand much more why you should bother with it first uh, the punisher uh, 
let me go into the digital ocean this is one of the server providers uh, which we can use with vanisher their original price is something like for 1 gb uh, 25 uh, gb disk and everything we, the monthly price is 5 dollar what happens is when uh, service like cloudways or even binary shelf or other services which use this kind of what they will do is in order to provide this kind of management uh, sub you uh, as uh, software to access this server they will mark up the price above the server cost they will uh, fix a price for them to give this server panels in example cloudways we are the same uh, software which uh, server which we see for the five dollar month cost in cloudways they are similar to banisher uh, because they are offering a managed service on top of this uh, server they are charging ten dollar which means they charge exactly another hundred percentage markup on top of the actual cost if we take a look at the second one you can see the ten dollar plan they are charging twenty two dollars a month and similarly $15 they are charging $42 so the markup is almost 100 or 100% more that is the biggest differences even the Bunishel they have the same pricing uh, this is the pricing on Bunishel the main thing you need to understand is if you are able to uh, see this server uh, and you find everything satisfactory and if we decided to put the trigger on it what happens is we will save every monthly even when you took the basic package on the digital uh, the basic package on cloudways we will be serving five dollars for site and when we are host five sites in one stack 25 dollars that means we will be saving 25 dollars a month just by using the system that is the main attraction point uh, with this lifetime deal and that is the reason i am also checking out this lifetime deal so just wanted to clear this up. So now I'm directly going to jump into the dashboard so I can show you guys how it looks, how you can use and everything. In the review video, when I create it, I'll try to be more thorough and more in depth as possible. This is basically the dashboard, as you can see. Uh, we get the application where we can create applications like WordPress or the other scripts I'll show you guys. Deployment similarly, web server, virtual machine. This is one of the most interesting thing you need to understand. Web server is the where we, you create a web server inside the bunny shell. Then you will get all the additional functionalities like load balancing all the uh, management i'll try to leave the link i have a uh, description i'll try to leave all the things the main thing is the load balancing and all the extra features will be only available when you create web server through them when you create a virtual machine you are just creating a single instance in this case all those load balancing and everything will not be available to you so you just need to understand the differences between these are the usually it will contain bigger packages bigger prices on the server because the reason is it will be much bigger than the virtual machine droplets and also monitoring is available and ops i'll show you guys first all you need to do is come here to the click dog uh, your profile name inside that um, you can find all the things in order to import the web hosting and everything in order to first you create in this instant i'm going to create a virtual machine i'm not interested in load balancing i just wanted a single instance because i my sites do not receive a lot of traffic peak traffic suddenly something like that it's generally gradually goes so i'm happy with the virtual mission and cost also will be much lower when we create a virtual missions click on create and here you can select what kind of uh, web server you want i'm going to do nigex and you can select programming language all these options are available you can also select the version you want uh, you can similarly select the database you want here you can see I'm not seeing a connect button here because I have already connected to my digital cloud account. For these two, I have not yet connected. That's why it's showing me the connect. What you will essentially see is a connect button here. What you need to do is you need to go uh, for to the digital oceans and you need to create an account with them. Let me see. I can log into my account. Okay. Now I 
logged it, it sent me a verification code also. Once you come onto your digital ocean control panel, once you create a edit, all you need to do is you need to go into the uh, API section where here you can see the API section go here and make sure to generate a new token give some name uh, and once you do this and generate token it will create a token here and it will show you a string of numbers all you need to do is click copy on that and come here and when you click on connect it will pop up a model where it will show a text field in order to paste that all you need to do is paste and click connect and it will automatically connect it to digital ocean now what happens is whenever you select all these settings and create a server it automatically create that same exact server in the digital ocean uh, server ser uh, server also so we don't need to separately go there and create it there is a way but in this i'm going to show you the easy way and uh, now if i go here and i can select the server location everything is similar and i you can see this is the pricing it's currently showing me the $10 pricing because I'm on a trial account not the LTD account lifetime deal account as I told you I'm just testing out that's why it showed me the $10 price essentially what it is it is the same pricing on the digital ocean where it said $5 that is the only thing different you select the plan you want for lifetime deal you will get the actual pricing based on the lifetime you give a name now uh, let me do a video test demo let's see and create a let me see whether i have collectively selected all this to just to make sure and it will give me a summary of what i'm doing and i'm just going to click on create now what happens is now it will create a server uh, inside the bunny shell and as well as a project to manage the server inside the bunny shell you can see it is creating it shows the icon um, yeah, it means it's a digital ocean and what it does is now it will automatically create that server uh, also inside the digital oceans it will appear inside here you can see it automatically created it you can see it's currently pending it's also creating in this so it automatically sent a request here to create the uh, uh, droplet and we can use this from that end now let's uh, let me wait until this video uh, process finishes okay guys it finished uh, basically it took around 20 minutes to complete that process that's why it took too long uh, it now it finished but it took 20 minutes to install this uh, now you can see it is installed all these things are showing here to install application uh, in order to install any application on this instance you go into application click on create application in inside that you have a lot of options here you can either install wordpress uh, it's showing me the tutorial also uh, we have drupal joomla all these things if you will go over to the framework these are available tools these are available all these things are available uh, now let me go into this uh, cms and i'll select wordpress here i'll select this uh, server uh, vps which i created virtual machine which i just created i'll give a name to this application video test vp and click on create now what it will do is it will create this wordpress application in that uh, virtual machine which i just created it now uh, let wait for it to finish okay guys it completed now this time it took around six to seven minutes in order to install this uh, i'm just going into the application and you can see they automatically gave us the application url uh, let me close out of this it means now it has automatically uh, installed that now we need to just configure the final settings give me go uh, go here give me uh, give the, <laughs> give a title and give a username user1234 and password let's say let me do something ah, no it won't work let me do something and let me copy paste it i will delete this entire setup once this video is done so need no need to worry and just give a quick email and let me install this let me copy the username 
and you can see that it saying so now when I log in the WordPress is pretty much installed you can see it has installed but it's currently on the testing uh, on their server itself if I go here you can see the WordPress is installed the next step for you is it will show all the details particular to this WordPress here including the application URL or way to connect uh, FTP and make adjustments to the file managers and everything database credential is shown here Crohn's jo job stops uh, tab is here you can do that uh, settings tab let me see what it's in the settings tab yeah here you can uh, set up a uh, redirecting option to HTTPS to the uh, HTTP to HTTPS if you want uh, another maintenance mode you can do it here all these things certificates is where you can install let's encrypt or other SSL certificate you have you can see you can do this uh, select if you have an existing SSL certificate you can do that otherwise you can create as uh, let's encrypt and install it here domain is where you actually map up to your correct domain name as a secondary domain name if you come here in here type whatever the domain name you have mydomain.com and you when you click add it will add that map that uh, domain name to that um, i will be showing all these things on my full review when i complete walkthrough of it here i'm doing and also in the lifetime de uh, deal the backup is not uh, included if I'm correct uh, uh, so you can't do the backups with their servers I'll try to see give more information on that basically that is all the things you can do on the application you can also delete it and monitoring it will show you the all the stats and everything for this particular application In overall it will show you all the data you can see all these things are showing here and also they have the native DNS support for the Cloudflare also here if you go here you can do the native uh, Cloudflare connect it to Cloudflare with the API and you can automatically connect these two Banishal to Cloudflare also so this is basically a basic introduction video on how you can set it up and everything now uh, I will try to get more information uh, in this in coming weeks to get more ideas on this and I will create a full review video. In the meantime, I think I covered the basic idea on bunny shelf, what it is and all these things. If you have any questions, please let me know so said, then I can also, if I didn't know that, I can ask the team in order to confirm and everything. Uh, once again, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope this video was useful. Thank you.